Hi everyone, this is Janet from the Brantford Public Library bringing you this week's STEAM challenge. Our challenge for you this week is to create a Christmas ornament using science. We will do this by creating salt crystal ornaments using simple ingredients you can find at home. And when we're all done, you'll have something you can hang on your Christmas tree. Here are the supplies you will need for today's experiment. You will need some pipe cleaners, some table salt or Epsom salt, and a mason jar for each ornament and a clothespin. First, we're gonna start with the science part. You will need an adult to boil about two cups of water in a pot on the stove. Then you can start adding whatever kind of salt you're using until crystals begin to form on the surface of the pot. The salt should stop dissolving in the water. Now it's time to carefully pour the hot water into the mason jar. While we let the salt water cool a little bit, it's time to shape our pipe cleaners into whatever shape you want your ornament to be. You can make a candy cane, a Christmas tree, a round Christmas ornament, a snowflake, whatever you want. Now it's time to put our ornament into the salt water. Make sure the whole ornament is submerged without touching the bottom of the jar. Now we're going to watch and wait while the crystals begin to form. This can take anywhere from 24 to 48 hours. The longer you wait, the bigger the crystals will get. When it's time to remove your crystal ornament from the salt water, you'll need to let it dry for at least a day before hanging it on your Christmas tree. What is happening when our ornament sits in salty water? When salt is dissolved in water, the molecules are separated, but as the water evaporates, the salt molecules bond again, and as they fall to the bottom of the jar, some of the molecules cling to our pipe cleaner, turning it into a crystal ornament. My challenge to you this week is to create your own salt crystal ornaments for your Christmas tree. Thanks for watching. And for more fun activities, check out the home-based activities page at brantfordlibrary.ca.